Hello and good afternoon and welcome to Little Court Soap Academy. And today we're going to show you how we're going to make a really special Mother's Day candle. So over here, I've got something that I collected on my travels that I bought in Thailand. It's a beautiful handmade ceramic teacup and saucer, all gold painted. And this is what we're going to make into a candle today. The first thing we're going to have to do is put a wick in the middle of this cup. And four wicks, depending on what the size of the candle you're making is, you can use fat wicks, short wicks, thin wicks, many varieties. It always depends what exactly you're going to do, but for today's purposes, we're going to use a standard wick that we use very often at Little Coat for the candles, of which we make quite a lot. And I'm going to pass this over to my colleague and let him carry on with the demonstration. There you are, Paul. Thank you, Brian. So first off, with the wick, you want it to be as straight as possible. So as it sits in the teacup, it will be central and easy to manage. The next step is to take your hot glue gun and you want to put a dollop at the base of the wick, not too much, as neat as you can. Then quickly but carefully place it into the centre of the cup, like so. And you just want to hold it there for a couple of seconds just to let it get a grip of it. You can take your hand away. That's perfect. So, Paul, here's a wick stabiliser, which will keep the wick in the centre gone. You, you show us how we work it. So you take your wick stabiliser, it's be facing that way down. Place it over the wick, so the wick goes into the centre of the hole in the wick stabiliser. And then that will hold the wick stable and in place for when we decant the wax into the teacup. Okay, Paul, could you put some wax in for us? I sure can, Brian. So over here is our wax melter, and we've got it to our optimum temperature, which is 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. Thank you, Brian. And now we're going to carefully decant the melted wax into our container here. And that's all we need. We've, pre we've previously measured this container, so we know we only need 65 cc's of wax for it. And that's exactly how much Paul has put in. So tell me, Paul, what special delights are we going to do to make this candle smell lovely? Well, Brian, uh, for today, I've made a lovely blend of essential oils that I've chosen lemongrass and juniper oil to make our fragrance. And I've already decanted some into this dish here. Okay. And I'm going to take our pipette here. Yeah. And I'm going to put in three millimeters of our mixture into the melted wax. And this is pure essential oil, isn't it? It's not uh, some synthetic uh, fragrance from a pharmacy, is it? That's correct, Brian. So completely natural, from, made from plants. Wonderful. And then once your fragrance mixture is into the melted wax, yeah. I'm going to take a mixer. We're, we're using a spoon today. Uh, most important thing is, is that it's not plastic. It needs to be uh, metal, so none of the fragrance goes uh, into the plastic. Into the plastic. And if you ever did use a plastic one, remember, you mustn't ever eat with it again, because the essential oils will have gone into the plastic and your rice pudding could potentially taste horrible. 
Exactly right there, Brian. So once you've given your mixture uh, a good uh, a good stir. Yes, I think that's enough. So the final step now is to carefully decant it into our teacup. So give yourself a lot of room. And nice and easy. Very slowly and steady. Into the teacup. Okay, and then once that's done, we need to leave the wax melt to uh, solidify, and then once that's done, we will come and remove the wick stabilizer and then trim the wick. Okay, so we're going to take a break and come back when the wax has nicely hardened. Thank you very much. Hello, well, welcome back to Little Coat Soap Academy, where we show you how we made our candles. Since the cameras were turned off, we did an entire take showing how we removed the wick stabilizers and trimmed the wicks. Unfortunately, the sound was off. So, what we'll say is, when the candle wax is hardened, <laughs> take off the wick stabilizers and cut the wicks. Uh, in this instance, we cut the wings ever so slightly higher than the rim of the teacups. And now we have two absolutely beautiful gold-plated, handmade ceramic teacups from Thailand with beautiful wax, smelling of lemongrass and juniper, a lovely aroma and a wonderful gift to give someone. And you can make something as lovely as this at home, probably from some things lying around. And if you don't, you could alternatively buy some from us because we make plenty of candles on our website. Okay, I'm going to pack these into this nice little hamper that I got so that I can give my mom a lovely Mother's Day surprise. And... Uh, Thank you for watching us, and we hope that you enjoyed this video, and we hope you'll have a look at see the other videos we're going to be making in due course. Ta-da!